Hey guys, what's up? My name is Laura Ventura with Pause and All Mobile Grooming, and today I'm going to be addressing one of my frequently asked questions, which is what is the difference between a salon and a mobile grooming salon? So we're gonna do a little bit of this and a little bit of that. So in a salon, it's more of a social setting. So you're probably gonna have either coworkers or if you're the owner, you're going to have employees and you're going to be able to talk, interact, you're going to have the help that you need when it comes to a difficult dog or cat, um, and you are going just to have that extra hand. Whereas in a mobile grooming setting, you're probably going to be the sole groomer, or if you have an assistant, there's just gonna be one other person with you. Mobile grooming could get a little lonely, um, but it just helps you hone in a lot more onto the pet. And hey, you could put some podcasts on, you could put whatever music you want, you could kind of jam out with them, so it's not too bad. All right, so once you're in the salon, you're pretty much confined to a space because you have clients to check in and dogs that you have to groom or cats that you have to groom. Whereas in a mobile grooming salon, you are going to be on the go. Um, there's always gonna be a window because your van will have windows. You're able to run errands in between appointments and you're able to take some breath of fresh air when you deliver the pet to the client's house or to the grooming van. And uh, yeah, you could even see some wildlife while you're driving by, so that's always fun. <laughs> so weather is a huge factor on in wherever you work or whatever you work with. So when you're in a salon, you're pretty much safe from all those weather elements and conditions, okay? And when you are a mobile groomer and you're working in a mobile grooming salon, you're gonna feel it a lot more. So your van does have to be prepared for cold weather. You have to be careful when you drive through rain and you're definitely gonna feel the heat when you're delivering the dog or the cat to and from the client's house. When you're at the salon, you can work on multiple dogs at once. Whereas when you're on the road, it's pretty much a one-to-one -one thing with the pets and you could only really work on one dog at a time. This brings me to my next difference, which is that in a salon, it could get really noisy and busy. There's going to be dryers going off. There's gonna be other groomers dealing with other dogs. Um, there's just gonna be a lot more people and a lot more animals in that setting. So if you are easily overwhelmed, that might not be the best place for you. Whereas in a mobile grooming salon, you have a one-to-one -one interaction with the pet and there's not much going on. If you want music on, then music's on. If you don't, then you don't have to put anything on and you pretty much control your environment and your setting. All right, so we all have needs and when nature calls, you have to respond. At a salon, you have a bathroom right at your disposal and when you're on the road, it kind of gets a little tough. So if you're one of those people that don't like gas station bathrooms, you might want to invest in a porter potty. So one of the major inconveniences of working at a salon is the pet parents sometimes don't pick up the dogs on time. And that doesn't really happen when you're on the road and you're a mobile groomer because you're right in front of their house. So there's no waiting. You just deliver their little pet back when they're done. All right guys, so those are the differences that I was able to come up with, but if you are a groomer that works at a salon, or if you are a mobile groomer, or if you've done both, and if you could think about any other differences that I missed, go ahead and drop them on the comments.